Before getting into today's episode, we'd like to thank Mac Performance PT for sponsoring the Walk On Pod. For more on their services and contact information, click the link in our Instagram bio where you will be led to their website. Mac Performance PT, helping Sacramento athletes live life without limits. Thank you for tuning back into the Walk On Pod. Um, I'll be the first to say I'm excited that we're getting going right now. Uh, but uh, Tom, man, it's, it's good to have you. Jared, it's good to have you. Uh, yeah, man, uh, it's always a pleasure. Let's hope the connection's locked in, man. Let's uh, let's hope you we don't good. have any issues. Thanks, man. You look good. You look good. Jared, here. Jared, how's uh, how's the garage treating you tonight? It's great. I opened it up. It's nice and breezy. I feel good. I've got some really good cardio these last couple of days. Yeah, Jared's probably run more good, Jared. last week than he has in the in the last in while. eight months. <laughs> Jared, Twice his yeah, last yeah. summer. Good bump. Uh, there good is bump a, going on in Rancho Cordova. A, yeah, there's a there's a GoFundMe for a, a, a ice bath for Jared uh, in the link below if you want. <laughs> just playing. But uh, no, it's been I good. actually it's been I'm good. a cryotherapy kind of guy, so you guys might have wow. to bump it up <laughs> okay. five bucks, ten bucks. <laughs> Watch you get like a crazy DM now. Hey. <laughs> Any cryotherapy oh, players yeah. in the area? Yeah, Come U.S. cryotherapy. If you would like to sponsor the Walk On Pod, we will gladly endorse your, your product. I'll do the I'll do the yes. endorsement videos. Yeah, <laughs> just you and the mittens getting into the, <laughs> the chamber <laughs> with in a the microphone chamber. in your hand. Yeah, right. Here. That's good though. Um, yeah, good vibes. Good vibes to start the pod out. Um, yeah. we're gonna get right into this. Uh, right into the scouting report. Yeah, uh, we had train Let's wreck. Talk we had, about we had it. Trade wreck. Um. This was and an like, easy, easy digestible film for you, I feel like. Yeah, no, 100% easily digestible, mm-hmm. I think, is an interesting way of putting it. Um, I wouldn't say that, but I get what you're trying to say. I just wouldn't use that uh, verbiage. Uh, but um, I see what you guys were going for. I see what you guys were going for. It was, you know, it, it fell into the, into the rom-com uh, field for sure. A little bit of a slapstick comedy, if you will. Um. Didn't do it for me. This, this was a rom com. It, <laughs> it didn't do it for me. Wow, Not I'm, I'm surprised. I, I'm actually really? surprised. Yeah, I just I like there were good, like like there even were with the parts. Amari Stoudemire cameo. No, so this is the thing: the the NBA player came, like LeBron was hilarious. I thought that was the best yeah. part of the movie, honestly. Yeah. Like I think LeBron. <laughs> was you think I'm gonna give sunglasses under thirty dollars? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was killing me. And then when he was like the the wrong man on the phone it, call, man. he was it, it was it was super like that part was funny, but like. To me, like, it just wasn't hitting like crazy. And again, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm my comedy. Uh, That's my problem with Amy Schumer, though. She's kind of like she beats a dead horse. Per se. It felt like, but, yeah, it, I it agree felt with like that. Almost like she was like there. Were, she had, obviously she's funny. I'm not trying to sit right. here and say she's not funny, but it almost felt like she was really trying too hard to be funny when naturally right. she's already funny. You know, That's what I mean? exactly. She just like yeah. tries to kill a joke. <laughs> Like till it's Not dead, it. but but the front verse, the first scene is hilarious though. When dude's t- using the doll metaphor. <laughs> um. Also, yeah. So is you're I not even gonna acknowledge that, Luke? No. Well, actually, this is a good point. I forgot I was gonna bring this up. Um, I uh, I didn't realize till after I watched the movie, like when it like the little and you know when you get it on like <clears throat> Amazon Prime or whatever you watch a movie on the the title screen loads back up. Yeah. So I watched the unrated version, actually. So I don't know. Like, there were parts that I was mm. like, damn, I wonder if this is the normal movie or the unrated version. I watched the unrated Which... version, too. Did you get okay. the Amazon discount or what? Yeah, I think so. It was only yeah, like, nice. What? Yeah. Speaking of yeah. Amazon discounts, has Jared reimbursed you for no. the 13th Warrior, by the way? <laughs> no, I owe him $4 still. I should, I should send him a Venmo request. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that really yeah. evens it out, the the round of Apple Mountain. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it's a hey. You got to see some good golf that day. Oh, um, I did. So, as for my rating, I'm gonna give it. Yeah, um, curious to hear this. Yeah, so because this is, a, I feel like our first real step into the comedy scene with with the scouting report. I'm glad it wasn't a banger. You know what I mean? Because then, like, like similar to when we, we had gave the you departed, the, yeah. like yeah. that's that's like a if if we if I watched that after I watched the Thirteenth Warrior, I would have easily given that a full ride you know what i mean but right, the fact that right, it was the first right, movie right. it was like what hmm. did we give what did we give 
The Departed. Did you go? No, it was, it was first. Tuition. Departed. Departed was no, full you just went. You just went tuition scholarship, right? Yeah, full tuition scholarship. Right. Right. Wow. So, so we don't have a full ride, ride yet. No, we, we don't. don't have a full uh, ride. Pulp Fiction. Really? Pulp Fiction. Was oh, Pulp Fiction. Oh, that's, that's right. right Pulp Fiction was a full ride. Um, but I'm giving this one the opposite of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a room and board scholarship. You know, you get the meal plan, you get the you get the dorm room paid for. But that's you fair. Gotta, you got to cover. That's rooms. not I bad. Feel like, no, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, <laughs> like I said, it's a good. It's it's a it's a foot in the door for the comedies. Um, I expect a lot better. You know. Um, yeah. Those yeah, those yeah. of you who uh, yeah, because that's your vibe. Yeah, that's your I mean, vibe. <laughs> If you like, if I had never seen the other guys and you guys told me to do that, now we're now we're talking the way the way the cucumber accents the water. Oh my god! Like we want to talk peak comedy. That's what we're talking about. Um, but yeah, yeah. What are you talking about the group chat? You're talking about. I can't believe you haven't we haven't given you rounders yet. Yeah, round. That's a great movie. Great movie, but you watched it though. No, I've seen it before. That oh, was yeah. it was just on TV and me and me and Doc were watching it. Um, but he showed me that when I was when we were younger. But yeah, was a, great movie. Yeah, and we've a, got a, a and it's a good cast, really good cast. Yeah, yeah. we've got one for you today, man. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh boy, okay. go ahead, Tom. Let him have it. I also um, will say before you go into this, Tom. Um, you guys like how do I say this? I was very like excited to watch train wreck because like based off of what you guys were saying and like your confidence levels with it i was like oh this is gonna be a home run for sure so i don't know if that also like swayed it a little bit you know what i mean yeah yeah i think we were excited to give you a movie that you weren't gonna hate watching yeah no it, yeah. like it was an easy watch like i didn't have a problem getting yeah. through it you know what i'm saying i laughed through some of it you know what i'm saying so like yeah but I'm, yeah I'm john cena is fun john cena is funny <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He was definitely pretty funny. He's like, um, he's like, this is your, your your dream. You get to sleep with other women. It's not this guy's dream. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't want to. I don't want to disappoint you, Luke. I just don't know that that this next movie is gonna be as easier of a watch. Maybe it's okay. your speed. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the movie I'm providing you. It's called Nightcrawler. Is it with Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah, have you seen it? I've seen Nightcrawler. I actually oh, watched it pretty recently. I've actually really? watched it. Yeah, Kayla and I watched it pretty recently. He's weird. Okay. He's a weirdo. He's a like weirdo. A He's a weirdo. I, wow, there's no way. Okay, I do have a backup prep, Jared. If this right, backup ahead, fails, this backup, this backup fails. I got yeah, what, I got what, what, what happens if the backup fails? Do I have to prescribe you guys a movie? That'd be no, fun. I got I got it. We well, could okay. add that, but yeah, I know. Um, I'd be surprised if you've seen this movie. I don't think it even came out in in theaters in the u.s um i actually just watched it last week and i will say i'm very thoroughly impressed with it um parasite seen it no way all that right was a, i got it that was a, that was an abdo family movie watch. that was a eight awesome movie well, it because it completely dude, deserved academy award no well yeah, that's what that happened it unreal. got all the yeah. awards and we were like what's going on so then we watched it that movie was unreal all right. yeah, that was a great movie. It's all no, good. I'm over two I, today, man. I got I got a comedy that I know he hasn't seen, and it's gonna be it's gonna be right up your alley. I'm just gonna tell you. All right. Mystery men. Mystery men, like plural. Yeah. Mystery men. Yeah. Mystery men. I don't even think I've heard of this. Yeah, yeah I don't, exactly. I, I haven't seen this either. I have this is a, a rolodex of movies you've never heard of. I'm sure we, yeah, do. I don't, I don't doubt that. Yeah, I don't, I don't doubt, doubt that, at, that all. at all. But we'll see how you feel about this one, Mystery Men. Mystery Men. Let's Mystery see. Man. Hank Azaria, Bro, William H Macy, Ben Stiller. I was gonna say Janine Ben Garfalo. Stiller. Oh, yeah. Ben Stiller. I'm a Ben Stiller fan. Yeah, it's a. Oh, this it's is hilarious. Yeah, 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 this is gonna be a funny movie. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, Mystery Men, man. Yeah, Mystery Men. Um. I almost stumped you guys this week. Wow. Come on, man. Been... Who are you talking to? I, I, Parasite, I can understand. I can't believe you've seen Nightcrawler. That shocks me. Um, I don't remember why we watched it. Was it on like Netflix? Was that a, was that, was that a Kalen, was that a Kalen Luke watch? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It I'm must curious. have been on Netflix. I'm curious though. Like what, what do you think of that movie? Um, my initial takeaways were like, this guy's a weirdo. Um, yeah. it was like, I don't. I, I don't. It, it was. It was one of those movies that like I was drawn in, but you couldn't really figure out why until after. Like, right. it was like, 
the, you knew what was going to happen. Like you could obviously see what was unfolding, but then like, just, I don't know. It was weird. It was odd. It was an odd watch. Um, odd it wasn't bad Jake, though. Jake Gyllenhaal is such a good actor though. So like, yeah, he did the part really well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly hated him. I was like, I hate this guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mr. Manuel enjoy. So get I know it. how we usually, we usually kind of, uh, go into some random TV and movie stuff at this point. Um, Tommy, I saw a tweet recently Talk to me. that uh, it was like it was like a picture of a scene from the Secret Invasion uh, show, and it was like oh. it was like just to let you know, uh, Secret Invasion is now on Disney Plus. And then someone quotes me and it was like, "Yeah, thanks for letting us know because nobody's watching it." And I just thought of you because I, Dude, <laughs> you, I, you, you I literally have been, were like, "You have to watch it." I've been a big Marvel hater. I actually just watched the third episode like what an hour and a half ago it's so good it is so good i think you're like one of the only people watching it. yeah they're TV that's shows fine man tap in no and this one's hitting man this one's really yeah. hitting this i feel like hitting. none it's of them big, can like bro big captain america do you remember winter, when we were watching captain america winter soldier oh anime. that show sucks bro which one the captain america WandaVision. One? Bro, WandaVision, I don't, bro, the thing was, every week was such, like, a yeah. big anticipation. Though, me and Tommy good. used to be yeah, we were FaceTiming in. after, and, like, yeah. <laughs> that show sucks. WandaVision, no, WandaVision was good. Oh, boo. It was the we, first Marvel show. There was a lot of hype around it. Like, yeah, it, it was, was cool. Mm, the yeah, way they did like it, the new Marvel did, movies. Watch Secret Invasion, Jared. I promise you, you'll like it. I don't know. Because, bro, Sam, that means Samuel Jackson kills it. Nick Fury is, Nick Fury is awesome. And like, yeah, but like, I okay, and without us going too far, I they're trying to. It's like the captain, the, what's the show about? Um, the one with the falcon in it, um, so Anthony about. Mackey. Is that I know that no, the he's falcon and the winter soldier, the falcon and the yeah. winter soldier. Like, they're just taking random characters off these movies and trying to turn them into TV shows, no, for sure. But like, I'm telling you, this is this one is actually really good. Mm. Like it's Loki full was out. Good actually too. Loki is good too. This this is right there with Loki. It's full out just spy like thriller. Like the villain is fire. I'm like kind of mad. It's only gonna be six episodes. Hopefully, it, well, you know how Marvel will do it. Yeah, yeah they'll like they'll the they'll stretch it. They'll stretch it and they'll make it not good. Minutes. But like, but yeah. like right now, three episodes in, I'm like, dang. I'm like trying to figure out what's what like it's yeah, dude i've been blown away like i've I've been thoroughly impressed by it blown away yes yeah. yes by far i mean let me blown know when black panther 3 is coming out all right man it's so random. completely completely not listening to anything i'm saying right now Luke, and i hate i hate it i hate it i'm trying right, to give jared. jared good television all right jared if you won't listen to that will you at least watch better call saul please i just finished that this weekend and that was cinema uh, that might be a too much for me to people people have told me that they right thought now. Better Call Saul was better than Breaking Bad. Dude, those last two seasons are just as good as any season of Breaking Bad. I'm trying to think what I was gonna watch. Oh, I gotta it's watch the Righteous same, Gemstones it's the same, first. It's the same people. Yeah, you're it's the same people. Last week. Yeah. Righteous Gemstones. I yeah, I think I'm gonna start Peaky Blinders here this week. Yeah. Oh, it's a big Peaky Blinders guy. That makes I a lot of heard. sense. I've heard no bad things about Peaky Blinders, so yeah, everyone loves it. Yeah, I'm gonna be excited for that. But no, Better Call Saul. That was it. Took me a while to to finish it. I took a break from it and then came back and I binged season that like back into season five and season six in like a week. It was amazing. James, man, big TV yeah, guy, man. No, you are, you are. And I tip Secret Invasion. Out. Tap in, tap in. Take your word. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. Watch the first uh, episode tonight and come back to me, Luke. Watch the first episode tonight and talk to me. Um, I'm, I promise you I won't watch it. It's okay. Though. It's not personal. All right, um, <laughs> Okay. So, basically. We need to put, like, uh, a wager have... on this next next uh, next session of playing. Okay, when my team good. wins. When, I, when my team wins, you're watching Secret Invasion. Anywho. Uh, we need to backtrack a little bit. Because the last couple episodes, we haven't gotten around to talking about the way the drafts wrapped up, wrapped up the way uh, some of the league has started, some of the trades, free agency, all of that. Um, I think the big one that we said we need to talk about that we didn't get into was the Bradley Beal trade. Um, 
I know who did they, they just added somebody else now too. I don't remember, but they're they're kind of putting the team together. They had a lot of veteran minimums. Yeah. Yeah. That's all they can afford. But mm-hmm. uh how do we think uh how do we think the that that fares for the Suns in the West? I like it. You like it? I, I do. don't know how I don't know how they operate. The the tough Who's thing is point guard. That's the question. Look. I don't know. I, if it was me, I would find another like I would try. Well, they can't get him now, but I would have tried to get like some like Javon Carter back or like Jose Alvarado yeah. start a point and then just so they can run around and play defense. But, it's Smith. Yeah, I think it. I mean, on paper, obviously, it looks good. I I don't know if it's more of like the NBA is all about getting like talent acquisition, right? So it's like you get mm-hmm. all the stars together and then you figure it out. They hired a new coach. We'll see what Frank Vogel does. He did do wonders with the Lakers defense, and that's why they won. So, like, I think that is a big part. He will help. Um, But I also think a lot of that is, like, the owner trying to make splashy moves, you know, like the new owner. Right. Like, I'm going to go get KD. I'm going to go get Bradley Beal. But, like, do we really – is our team really better? Or, like, can we beat them? Can we beat the Nuggets? Like, I guess that's how I would look at it. Like, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I was a team in the West and the Nuggets just won the championship, my whole goal is to beat that team. Cause, like, they're still the best team in the West. Yeah. They, they have the best they, player. They did lose some important pieces, though. Right. They did lose Bruce Brown. Yeah. That's true. Jeff Green, too. Jeff Green was yeah. big. Yeah. So, so, I mean, we'll see kind of how that plays out. But I'm just, it, I mean, we'll see. I mean, they I sh- they're gonna they're gonna win a lot of games because they have so much yeah. talent. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be. But Bradley Beal's be always hurt, so. Right. But man, they're yeah. gonna score a lot of points. I just, I just they're gonna score them. a lot of points. Like one one of them has like. Okay, so first we've already seen what like DeAndre Ayton's motor is made of. Like we've already seen that; it's been proven right, right. time and time again. So he's fine with taking a backseat to the the other three. I think D Book is really the the best motor out of all of them. That might yeah. I don't know if that's crazy, but like no, I don't no, think KD has not proven at, that he does better when another player is is really the guy. Honestly, yeah, Beal especially was, in this this late in his career too. Yeah, Beal was camping in Washington. They were getting slaughtered, but he was getting paid, so it was cool. And, Book with books really the only one that's like really proven that like he's got that type of mentality. So like, what is that? Is he? Do you make him the the number one option or like how do we how do you go about that? Because I mean, he's not yeah, gonna I be think a book is. Guy. The, like, I think book's the guy. I think. Well, you, Bradley Beal said the, it in the press conference. So. Yeah, yeah, Bradley Beal literally said it was what he said. He said I, it was. I think. Book, book I think Bradley. I think Bradley Beal gets not diminished isn't the right word, but he gets like he takes the backseat. Yeah, his usage is going to go way down, and he's going to be more like probably more Clay Thompson esque than he has ever been before. Yeah, I don't think he has yeah. to. Be, yeah, I, well, yeah, if somebody does this. Even like with LeBron and D Wade, like D Wade had to take a step back, and Chris Bosh had to become a role player after being first team All NBA. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see yeah. if they if they can all do that and fit, but they just yeah. got a guard at the end of the day. And well, and plus the other thing, like, they don't have a lot of depth. Yeah, they don't have depth. I think like that's like being able to throw like different lineups out and bodies and stuff like that. I mean, that just makes a big difference. Yeah, they don't have a lot. They don't have any defensive versatility at all. Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But, I still don't even see. It. I don't still don't even know if they could be Denver. To be honest. Yeah. Well, because then you go back to the same issue, and not that you can fix it, but like, like Jokic is gonna wreck DeAndre Aiden. He is. Like, you have no one to guard him, really. I mean, there's, but, I don't think anybody has. Like, yeah, maybe, say, yeah, maybe, 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 Suns, maybe Milwaukee. But <laughs> the Suns did get two games off him, though. Bradley Beal could be the difference. But is he the difference? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I guess we we'll have to wait and see. I don't mind yeah. the move, though. I don't mind the move. They're clearly all in to win right now. And yeah, yeah, they have. I mean, yeah, KD has a very small window, and he's yeah. always injured. And yeah, you know, like you can always. I mean, look at like so many times teams have done it before. Where you just like doesn't work out, you blow it up, get draft picks, suck for a couple of years, and then try to get right back. Right back. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of teams are trying to win now, like my my Warriors. Yeah, I'm glad because I wanted to bring that up. I'll bring it up before you I'm, can, dude. I'm not bringing it. I'm not talking about well, it. Well, I'm just going to say it like I I – I predicted it. It's you jinxed it, is what you did. You jinxed, you jinxed it. it. You Let's go. So, Jared was so sick too. So I sent, I sent Tom the recording because he didn't hear during the actual recording that I said that when I said like Chris Paul. Jared was like, no, he was so mad when I said it. <laughs> of course, it happened, dude. Like, of yes. course, yes. Yeah, and then I don't know. Like, well, I saw Jared today. I was like, no way they think this is the death lineup where it's like CP. Dude, yeah, that is horrible. Like, <laughs> They're getting slaughtered. They're getting slaughtered if that's the lineup they think is going to win games. What's his name? Keone, Keone's. He might be the answer, bro. I don't know. Ken, Kenyones? He's good. Yeah, he might be the one. He's good. They just, signed Corey, they just signed Corey Joseph, though. So. I feel like Corey Joseph is low-key a better point guard off the bench than Chris Paul. I'm not even going to lie. He might – like. Uh, in... relax, relax, relax. Bro, relax. Chris Paul needs to ball in his hands at all times yeah. to be effective. That's not yeah. how the Warriors play, no, especially with not. that second unit. It's what not, you want, Kaminga to spot up? You say, want no, spot what up? I will say, what I will say is, like, the Warriors were always good at having a second unit that slowed the pace down and played a different style of basketball than what Steph and them did. Like, Sean Livingston did not play the style of basketball that the front group did. So, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I love the move. I don't love the move at all, but I don't mind. You know, what camp, you know what my campaign is. Yeah, you hate it, and that's fine. I, But uh, it is what it is, Jared. We're going to have to accept it. I saw, so, uh, I saw a tweet. <laughs> That said, they're interested in James Wiseman again. That was that was that is trolling. It was trolling. Are you sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure it's like NBA no, Central. that's trolling. That's trolling. That's got to be trolling. Uh, I didn't send it into anything, but uh, yeah, I know, uh, I know you guys were pretty sick about that. Tommy's gonna make it make it seem like it might be okay, but I think we all know the truth. Uh, I'm coping. I'm coping. There's, yeah, there's, no, I don't. I don't blame there's, you. I don't there's blame only one. There's only one person in the organization that needs to go with the package deal, whatever their next trade is. is there's there's only Mike one Dunleavy? person. Draymond uh, signed four year, hundred mil. Do you like that? Uh, Who? Draymond, do you like his contract? Uh, yeah, fourth year player option. I mean, that was about. Uh, that was about what we talked about. Three years, seventy five was what you were hearing, and he got four years, hundred, um, in the fourth year player option. Yeah, but that's I think because it's, isn't Steph's contract? Everybody's three? up. Everybody's up. Yeah, in three so this years. is the last run. So they, did, they yeah. got what they wanted. This is it. The, yeah, this yeah. is it. I think. I think the other thing too is for Draymond is with whether you like it or don't like it with Jordan out of the mix, you can kind of just push the reset button. Yeah, and like I, reset yeah. the entire like. Okay, we got Chris. If they're gonna roll Chris Ball, we got Chris Ball in here. Draymond's like, this is the core. That's the core three, and then we're gonna yeah. just build around that. And like, well, I guess four because you count Looney too. He's big time. But uh, I, I just you reset right. It's full reset. You got out from under Jordan Poole's bag, kind of like too much money, and then your Chris Paul will be a free agent after this year. So it's like you can give it a one year run. If it's not looking good, you can trade him off for something else to try to retool at the, at the deadline. Right. That's like essentially what the Lakers did, right? Like Lakers tried it, didn't work, made a trade and actually right. were way better yeah. for it. They're just, yeah, yeah they, 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 they clearly were like, we need changes. So I don't, I don't hate change. They, I, they needed to change something. I think the other thing too, is that what people don't. And again, this is not whether I'm a warrior fan or any other fan. People don't realize, like, when you're a repeat offender on the luxury tax, how hard you get. Like, the owner is literally getting cracked over the head for an extra, like, $100 million. Right. Like, that's, like, because when you're a repeat offender and they made it more, the new CBA is making it more uh, stringent. Where, like, you, they give you less leeway. Like, the windows are smaller, as I think. I don't know how to explain it in, like, the, the legal terms, but... Essentially, right. like if you stay in that luxury tax long, the longer you stay, the harder you're gonna get hit for money. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, even gonna... though the salary cap's going up, it's like still the same thing. Oh yeah, it might get ugly for it yeah, might get ugly for us Warriors fans. <laughs> like so, that's what I'm thinking. Is like okay, yeah, like I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna four more years of that. Like 
for the JP contract and everything else you're paying for. Yeah, no, it's it's interesting. Then they really haven't. They signed because they just signed Corey Joseph, right? I don't even think they've signed anybody else. Yeah, no. I wish yeah. they would have, bro. Oh, we talked really about it earlier. Like, if Cam Cam Whitmore falls to you at nineteen, like I feel like you just have to swing at it. Yeah. Yeah. Like potential, unless his workouts were really that bad, which is what the consensus was, is why he dropped. But like, or, they, or his health and. They're claiming that he's completely healthy, and I don't know any of the ins and outs, so I don't want to act like I know exactly right. why he dropped. But like, if I'm at 19, unless I'm like, obviously, Pods is like, you know, he could be good for them, but like, they need more athleticism on the wing. They do. I feel like that's just. But my I mean, opinion. I think you're also. I think. I think well, they're also taking into account, or at least expecting Moody and Kaminga to take that third year leap and be yeah. rotational good players yeah i mean at that point though like looking at it you could have just traded up one spot and got jaime well i think jaime was like i think he was not i was reading he was number one on their board and he got taken right before and so then pods was their next pick i mean he could be good like i don't know but like there's a lot of guards so you got Corey joseph now there's a lot of guards yeah i just like jaime there because jaime i like like i love jaime there yeah I, yeah, I thought I may would have been a great pick. I wanted them to pick him. Yeah. Which is unfortunate that they didn't. He's probably gonna be really good. So that sucks. But I thought they I were mean, gonna take Chris Murray, honestly. I would I so, wanted that too. Once Hawkins got picked, I wanted Murray. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't go bigger shooting. Yeah, well, hopefully they can but, sign Dario Dario Sarge. But he's taking forever. They're like it was already day one. They were like they're gonna sign him. And then anyway. I will also want to comment on I want to comment on how crazy it is. Like we, we none of us got it right in the top five. How crazy it was to go four uh, and then your twin brother go five. Yeah, dude. That's bro, nuts, dude. Bro, that that's coming. nuts. But bro, nuts. this overtime was an app that you could put your highlights in like three years ago. And now they got two dudes in the top five. That's nuts. That's wild. Can wow. I actually can I actually say overtime? Overtime DM'd me back when they were up and coming and said thanks for following guy. me. They said Let's... thanks for following me. God, you missed out on the bag, bro. You could have been the sixth pick after after Thompson, bro. I bet I could go find the Twitter DM. Uh, That's so nuts. Uh, yeah, I think the rest of the draft played out pretty regular. Uh, I I I was not surprised that the Kolaboli Col- kid went that high. So he high, obviously yeah. he obviously had a promise there, and he. To, you know, we'll see how he does, but that's um, a potential pick because he's yeah, he's crazy. No, I'm not gonna lie. He's, yeah, his measurables are nuts, but um, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how everybody plays in Vegas this next you know couple weeks. Some of the guys have already gotten played. You had something to say about some of the play going on in uh Sacramento. Huh? I mean, let's just talk about the the elephant in the room over there at the Golden One Center. This guy, Brandon Miller, had 15 fouls in his two games. 15 (laughs) fouls. I didn't even – I I genuinely did not know that you couldn't foul out in some of the games until this No, I think it's 10 games – or 10 fouls. You get 10 fouls. That's insane, bro. Seven fouls and eight I feel like you're setting setting up a bad precedent. (laughs) Bro. He's, he's got to turn it around, bro. He's got to turn it around. It's a bad look. Yeah, he right looks now. bad. He looks really Especially, bad. Especially, like, well, he, he comes he out looked, and he looked, he looked good on Monday. He just fouled, fouled a lot. Today, he didn't look as good, had more turnovers. But that's a bad look in the grand. If, if he picks up oh, two well, quick yeah, ones in yeah, any normal yeah. NBA game, he's not seeing well, the yeah. floor. Well, yeah, it depends on what coach you play for. But I mean, he got hot on Monday for a minute, well, Jared. I wouldn't say he looked good. I was no, I'm he saying that he they were already he, down twenty. Yeah, yeah. well, his plus but minus like, is killing him. Did you? I saw. I'm gonna read it. I actually left it up. The the, the comparison. Tweet I sent you? No, the compa- You sent me that, but the comparison uh, between Amari Bailey and Brandon today. Do you no, see that? I, no. So Amari had 16 points, four rebounds, six and nine from the field, five, five free throw line. His plus minus was plus 17. And the team lost by 15, which is super tough to do. And then yeah. Brandon had six points, four turnovers, eight fouls, plus minus of minus 22. Mm. That's insane, bro. Yeah. yeah. He needs to, he needs to pick up the slack. He's, he did have a he crazy leg. Or something. <laughs> he, he did have a crazy leg. He did have a crazy leg. That was absurd. I think like, I think, yeah, I mean, 
What are we playing? Twenty one, bro. Like, it's this is it's bad. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's playing, I don't even think I had eight there. fouls, but. Bro, but that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> that's hard to foul someone eight times. Dude, eight so, fouls is crazy. And how many? Like, you have to be like intentionally running. Yeah, you got to be intentionally running. It's been people. happening a lot too. Like Keon Ellis on the Kings had six fouls in like the, yeah. the second quarter of the Warriors. It also could be the ref, new refs that are like blowing the whistle, whistle happy too. You know, like whereas the that's real true. games get started, they don't call as much of that. That's eight. true. Eight. Eight is nuts. It's not okay. Eight. That's two I mean, more yeah. than fouling out in 24 <laughs> minutes. I told you, I'm, the, I'm probably the only person that's ever had six fouls in a college game. Yeah, it's impressive. <laughs> that doesn't shock me in the slightest. <laughs> yeah. That Garrett took a spill. Straight into Garrett, took a, yeah. oh. Garrett took a spill today. Can we can we sidetrack for that? <laughs> yeah, I was going. I was don't do just that. You guys were battling. It just happened. Crap of the ground. <laughs> I was scared, bro. I thought he like banged his knee on the ground. I was like, oh no, this is the last of waters. <laughs> Dude, I'm like crap. I'm like running into the glass, and there's just a scrum going on under the rim. <laughs> and the crazy part is, like, I don't think it was a foul, but everyone just stopped. Like we were all yeah. just like. Yeah. Yeah, you guys just oh. gave me the ball. You like felt you bad for me because I was. Yeah, was like, well, you guys had the like, ball in the play. Just oh, did we? Oh, yeah. yeah. Did we have the ball? I'm not sure. I don't think I anyone think we did. Um, the well, hey, the, all the, three the, of us. My whole team wasn't going for the ball, and then it was, so it was either you or Nay got it because Drake was Drake, and then I was helping Jared up, and then Owen and Jared were wrestling. So Drake, yeah. Drake I mean, funny, was Drake. Hey, this, no, the funny, the funniest part of the, the whole situation. Lebowski. The funniest part of the whole situation is that Luke was like, he was like, "Are you good?" Like. What happened? And he's like, "Did he trip you?" I was like, "Uh, nah, I think I'm good. I pushed him anyways." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, like "I just like... shoved Owen to get to the wall, dude." It was yeah, a, I think you like was... shoved him and like just lost your balance. And then lo- lo- I shoved him, and then when I, I went to go get the ball, his foot was there because I shoved him into the wall, and then I tripped over his foot. <laughs> it it so felt like fault. it felt like trench warfare out there today. I'm just gonna put it out. Like we started off early and often with Drake diving at my legs. To start the round, he wanted to win. That was, yeah, he wanted to win. <laughs> he go that game, and at then least. Drake gets, Drake gets uh, in the car. Drake gets in the car after the workout, and he goes, "I'm done playing football for 35 minutes with Nay guarding me, dude." <laughs> and then he goes, "Nay was in the car with us, and he goes, he goes, Nathan, you need to relax with the shoulders." And Nay goes, "Call me Nathan one more time. I'm gonna assault you." <laughs> and he goes, "You've been assaulting me for the last three workouts." <laughs> that's good that's good shoulder work it's like i had to give myself a break after monday yeah i did the matchup monday yeah <laughs> i'm just kidding uh, Nay. i'll battle with you any day brother check up king shout out to nay shout i out live to, i shout live out for nay, that man shout out to nay um, okay. but no i think um <laughs> the draft overall was was cool shout out to uh muhammad from washington state he got drafted uh second round trade to atlanta so we're happy for him that's juice happy for jalen clark he got drafted even after having a terrible injury and he'll come back strong and obviously amari and jaime too sure and, and uh poetically big shout out jordan ford he's been hooping yeah. the last two days two man. Games, yes, right after, board. Right after episode, man he put on a clinic on monday oh, night man, man. I mean, yeah. and all of us here know, but, like, I'm glad people are seeing it. And I'm really glad, and I wanted to say this, too. Like, I'm really glad the King socials are giving him, like, the light. Back. Because, like, yeah. there's a lot of, like, casual NBA watchers that, like, wouldn't get to see what's actually going on. And he's really hooping. And he's, yeah. like, I was in there. Like, he's running that team. And the coaches are trusting bro, him to he run that co- summer league team. He controlled, like, he controlled the entire game, bro. Yeah. Like, defensively too he was really good like his yeah he had some good hands, deflections yeah. deflections like he had he had one possession me and they were talking about it and like it was a turnover and it all started with the ball pressure he was putting on like he's just he's shown he's proven that he deserves a chance he's, he's an nba the player. roster I'm t- I'm he's, he's, yeah absolutely he absolutely yeah. is yeah he's shout out to you fordo big Ford. shout out jordan yeah um, on the other on the other part of that king's team keegan murray is in a league of his own that dude he shouldn't be out there, but no, he should not. You know, be out it's there. good. It's good though. So that's why I want to bring that up too. Is that I remember watching Book his second going into his second year, he played the first two or three, maybe two and a half of summer league games in Vegas, and like it was like clearly he made a huge jump, 
And that's what like set them up, right? And like those games were just like like making like everybody known, like, oh yeah, like I made a jump. I'm about to be a real like player in this league. I feel like Keegan's doing the same thing. Dude, yeah. he looks like a problem. He looks yeah. like a legitimate problem. And I think if anything, it's just going to help his confidence too. Confidence, like he doesn't dude, seem yeah. like he's not like a, a not confident player, but like he's proven to himself he can do more than just be the catch and shoot guy, like off the fox and bonus actions, you know? Like, yeah. Dude, he's he's doing like, did you guys see the 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 same foot, same leg, pound stop, step back three today off yeah. the yeah. down? Like, nice, oh my goodness! If he's doing that, if he's doing that, and then you got. Monk the too, early and, MVP coming in too. Yeah, like the Kings, man. The Kings are legit. Oh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden. They I were mean, takes... last year they just ran into Steph Curry and the Warriors. Sorry, it's another time. It'll be uh, it'll be interesting to see how he translates. Like he, I'm talking about Keegan. I hope he continues to ascend and translate because it's always good. It's always cool to see guys that get drafted high like live up to that potential i feel like that's always cool because like you never want to have that uh tag as like a bust or underperforming or any of that stuff like that's which is like not a fair thing to give someone you know what i mean because everyone's situation is different and he had such a good rookie year too that's like you know that there's gonna be pressure to continue to Get yeah, like if he stuff. doesn't average, like if he averages point seven less points or two points less or a point or rebound less, they're like, oh, did he take a step back? It's like, you know, it's a different team, different situation. Right. So I'm glad yeah, that he, it looks like he's going to go forward. Yeah, he's clearly been in the gym. Yeah. I will tell you, the other side note with the Kings, though, is Luke, I want to, I don't, we've probably talked about it off camera, but um, are you happy with Harrison Barnes coming back? I think it's a safe play. I think it's a safe play. And and when it happened, people thought we overpaid him, but then all these other contracts were coming out. Yeah, Cam like, Johnson got no, 108 got for, for good. What money. did what did Barnes even get? It was fifty four for yeah. three. Yeah. That's Which, that's a good deal, dude. Hey, yeah. Here's some Barnes is a good player. He just yeah. he just he, it's like you know we're gonna get from him. Like obviously yeah. they wanted to try to like upgrade and everything, and I get it, but like he's a good locker room guy. You know what you're getting from him. He yeah. can guard the wing, he can guard strong force. as hell. Like, yeah, the, he, he, the, he checks the boxes. Yeah, well, yeah. and that's the other thing, too, is I think you uh, hit it on the head, Mook, is that you didn't, sw- like, strike out and give up a bunch of flexibility or give up your whole roster right. for, like, uh, a maybe, like, maybe right. impact guy. Like, what they right. were saying, what we were going to have to give up for OG, for example, was ridiculous. So it's like, yeah. might as well hold on to Davion, hold on to our picks. You kept you bring back Harrison for a contract that actually is going to work out well. You were able yeah. to to uh extend restructure Sabonis. Sabonis, yeah, exactly. Restructure and, Sabonis, and he took less money because he wants to keep yeah. some cap room open for a backup big. Apparently, so that's big. And time. If, if Keegan takes that leap, Harrison doesn't need to do that Not much offensively. Much. Like, and then they mm-hmm. got another. They got Vezinkov coming in. That's another stretch four that can shoot, cut right. off the ball, play well. So, I think I think you know they didn't like. You, it's the single, you know, it's not the home run play. It's not like the, it's not the thing that everyone wants to see, but you're getting like, it, it's going to get the job done. You know what you have. Yeah. You're obviously expecting Fox to continue the, the elite play that he's on, on pace to have. And, you know, I think, I think, you know, it's safe. It's safe. And yeah. I think it was smart. I also it's think smart. like Twitter in general, like NBA Twitter, we all talk about all the time. Oh, it gets all frenzied up because, like, especially the Kings Twitter, because they've never been in these discussions at July oh, 1st, right? Oh God, bro. Like, King's it's never Twitter's been – like, like, it's never been a destination for free agents, so they're never in play. And now all of a sudden they're in play, and, like, dude, people are just, like, throwing out crazy scenarios. Oh, it's like, God, bro. Well, and then one of the big – I was like Bleacher Report, I think, put the Paul George jersey swap on the Kings, and they were like, oh, we finally (laughs) made it, guys. Like, And I was like – Yeah. That's hilarious. (laughs) I would have loved it. I would have loved it. But, like, I think the fact that we kept kept the core. Like, you lost 2D and you lost Chemezi Matu. I think that was really it. Like yeah, we're not. You got Rashad Holmes. I don't know. If well, you Rashad Rashad Holmes. Holmes. Yeah, and Alex Lynn is back. He's back on minimum. Yeah. So yeah. That's I like the anything. I like the Duarte pickup actually. I like it a lot. Yeah. Well, they're saying Sabonis and him play really well together, so that's obviously yeah. a plus too. 
No. No, I think he's good. No, I think they had a good offseason. Yeah, I like no, their offseason. All things considered, Still time to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wanted some fireworks I think they've and had stuff, a good offseason so far. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll definitely. Yeah, see. we'll see um, where where uh, the Warriors decide to trade Chris Paul to. <laughs> That's wishful thinking, or what? Bring Anyways. me Pascal Siakam. Um, before we get into whatever comes next, uh, you know, we were talking about us in the gym recently and, and, you know, I've, we talked about the off season grind and we're in the thick of it right now. And I, I wanted to talk about something because, because I think what comes with the off season grind in today's media age specifically, is a bunch of, a bunch of BS on my timeline about people being in a gym. Right. And we've talked about it all the time. Yes, you can be in a gym. You can technically live in a gym, all that. But like, if you're not like, if you don't have the right mindset going into this stuff, if you're not doing things at the right pace, if you're not doing things with the right intent, it is all a waste of time. And I was talking to Jared about it today. It was like, yeah, like people can literally like Jared says all the time, like you can lead a horse to water. You can't force him to drink it. You can give everyone the tools. But if like, if Jared's putting me through a workout and I'm like, all right, like whatever, like boom, I'm doing this doing that my head's on it i'm not putting myself in those situations like i'm not gonna get anything from it and like i think it's more than half the battle and i just i just want to talk about kind of the difference and i said it it's kind of corny but like the difference between being in a gym and being in the gym like are you really getting something out of this summer are you really going to be better and like i think it's with social media going on it's like okay i'll post a picture of me I'll, you know here's a story of my shoes being taken off like yeah clock out like all, like no that's bs bro like what are you in there for like what are you in there for and like i just see it a lot and it bothers me we talk about stuff like that on here so i wanted to bring it up you know let you guys get your piece off if there was anything you wanted to add but yeah i just kind of wanted to wanted to put that out there look you you you, you hit literally everything i, I would have said <laughs> yeah like, it bothers me. This is something that no, really it bothers me too. I don't. Yeah, the summer is just it's a lot of it's a lot of boomerangs. Yeah, man. I don't know. I hate social media. We have talked about it so much. It's just like, are you really are you really working? Hey, or are you so just you're in there? Saying for the I'm pictures? not supposed to flick up when I get a couple jumpers up. Oh man, it's tough, right, Jared? It's a maybe tough once a week. There, huh? <laughs> flick up when the jumpers are up, baby. Maybe once Look, a week. Maybe once a month. In, in like we in I posted the video earlier this summer. That was, you know, there's, there's, there's a time and a place to do it. I get it. I'm not a fan of it, Jared. Like, it sounds dumb for me to say this, but like Jared can test. Like I was like, bro, do we really have to? And like the way that things are, you kind of do like you kind of do. And I know Dame actually jokes about it all the time. He's like, they'll like post a little spoof videos of him working out. And it's like, oh, don't worry guys. I've been in the gym. Like, cause he's, he's yeah. not one to post himself in there. So it's yeah, like with the pool noodles. Yeah. He doesn't, yeah. Post. yeah, he doesn't post. It's funny. Cause like people like really need that validation sometimes that like yeah i'm in here like everyone sees me but it's like why not wait till the season for that tall show and then it's going to be obvious that you were in the gym like that's the way i see it hey man i'm right with you on that one i think the other thing though too is i think you everything you said was very valid and i think everything you said is right i think it goes beyond that though to me at least like looking at it from a high level standpoint like trying to play basketball at a high level it's, you can be focused in the hour or two hours you're on the court, but like to be great at basketball at the college level or beyond, it doesn't stop. Like you can't, it's not like a thing you can turn off. Like when you leave the gym, you still should be doing other things that are going to elevate you to be successful at that level. If that's the level you want to play at. It's like, if I'm like, I'm breathing, sleeping, eating basketball like the entire time. Like there's obviously days and certain parts of the day where you want to shut your brain off from it. But like if the only time you're focusing on what's best for you as the basketball player is that hour to two hours you're in the gym playing pickup or working out or going with your trainer, then like you're probably you're missing something because that mental side is something that's like that doesn't just happen in the gym. Like visualization is real and so real. like living right, which is Luke's favorite saying is real. So it's like, oh, if, you, if, if, if you're Shout like, Coach that's, that's like a visualization thing. And like having everything else in order thing is like really important. It's like, I remember just think of like, even something simple as like, if I'm not going to bed at the same time every day, or if I'm not waking up at the same time every day, that's, making like that's throwing off some kind of rhythm in my brain 
right. to where I, it's, or it's just something like I have to think about more, not meal prepping or not. Well, like, that's what I was going to say. You said like, I get there's a time to like shut it off and stuff, but like to, that's part of it. I think knowing that when like, this is when I can shut it off or like, that's right. part of like the recovery mm-hmm. por- portion of it. Like yeah. it's probably not healthy to be thinking about one thing all the time. And like, I get that, but like, it's the same way. So I'm going to take care of my body. Like I always joke with Jared about the ice baths I take and stuff like that. Like it's, mm-hmm. for some people, they might think it's unnecessary. Like, I feel like I'm getting old. That's what I'm going to do, but that's part of it. So if you don't do that with your brain too, like you're not going to be able to be a hundred percent mindset wise during that hour that you need to, and then carry on from there. You know what I mean? Right. And then also like, and I think it's perfect with what we were talking about last week with you and shine, like how we were talking about how you guys, like it never turns off for you guys as trainers. Like you're always thinking about, like, you're probably thinking like, Oh, like this would be a perfect situation for Tom, or this would be a perfect situation for Luke. Right. Like as players, you got to think the same way, like everything, like something that comes up, like probably should think about how that's going to change me as a player, not just like, Oh, uh, you know, it's a cool yeah. game that's going on. Like, no, this it it can be applicable no matter what. Yeah, absolutely. I thought you were gonna say something, Tom. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I think I think and I'm again I'm older than you guys. I think the thing that my dad, one of the things my dad taught me, whether he did on I'm sure he did it on purpose because he was probably kind of a psychopath, but um the being fear like I was always scared that someone was doing more than me. That mm-hmm. really was like one of the things that drove me, I think. And I don't like it, that feeling. It, it maybe wasn't healthy to think about it that way, but like that, those times where I just didn't want to go back outside, or maybe it was too hot, or like I didn't want to go back and work on more floaters, or I didn't want to work on my footwork. Like I really just, I, my dad like really ingrained that in me. Like there's, there's somebody halfway across the world that wants the same thing you want. And they're out there working on their shit and you're not. So like you can either keep up or get left behind. Yeah. I think that's a real way to put it. Yeah. Real. Yeah, man. Shout out to the 4th of July. Big opportunity. I hope, I hope people took advantage of the 4th of July, man. Cause there are a lot of people kicking their feet up that day. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to get that, that piece off. You know, it's, 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 it's all about what we talk about on here and, you know, it's very relevant right now, unfortunately. But um, I think the, the the flip side of that is for those that, your work that are for those that are doing what you're supposed to. You know, I always talk about working in silence for those who are working in silence, who who are truly passionate and dedicated to, to something they love. If it's basketball, that's what we're talking about. If not, whatever it is it's going to come to fruition. Like all that like is going to pay off. And so that's the complete flip side. If you do it right, that's that Jared said it right. If you're living right, like things, that's the way I think. If you have everything in order, if you're doing things correctly, think good things are going to happen. So I think there's definitely two parts of it, but unfortunately the the bad side of it definitely irritates me. Definitely irritates me. I say it all the time, man. The work will always show. The work will always show. Always. Always. Yeah, man. So, uh, do we have anything else before we get into this starting five? No, we do. Go ahead. No, we do. Yeah. Oh, we do. Let's talk FIBA World Cup Team USA. Mm. Oh, Correct. Yeah. I want to talk about that. Your boy Austin uh, Reeves is in there. I just, yeah, I just want to know Tommy's take on the roster. My take? Yes. I mean, I'm pulling the don't, roster up. Don't you usually send younger guys to the World Cup? Uh yeah, I think so. I I like the roster. I I think it's fine. But what about like a Brandon Ingram and stuff like that? He's not necessarily younger. He's like the no, vet of the team. But, I, I guess. mean, yeah, but he's still not like he's not like a the uh, older generation. KD, like he's in the KD mid. Age. He's yeah. the mid range. I think. I I think it's. I think it's gonna be a fun roster. I like. I think Anthony Edwards could be a star of that team. Brandon Ingram, obviously, a really good player. Um, who else was on there? Yeah. Walker Kessler's on there. That's like I think that's a that was an interesting, interesting pick. One. But he also like he's young he and so though. yeah. He had a yeah. really good rookie year. Yeah, I mean, he did. He's good. Reeves, Reeves is a baller. Like Reeves deserves to be on there. I'm not mad at him being on there. Um, who else? 
Uh, well, they have Paulo, Mikhail, Jalen Brunson, Anthony Edwards, Tyrese Halliburton, Brandon Ingram, Jaron Jackson, Cam Johnson, Walker Kessler, Bobby Portis, Austin Reeves, Josh Hart. The, the Bobby Portis one is interesting. I me. love Bobby Portis. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I love Bobby Portis, but that just was like, I'm glad he's getting his flowers. I'm glad he's getting his flowers. He's younger than I thought he was. I thought he was I older. He's only like, on the walk-on he's only like, one, actually. he's only like 29. And that's, yeah. that's cool that he's out there. No, I like it. Hopefully they win. Our younger... Our younger uh, team got smacked. Teams had yeah, been getting, by Turkey. Had been getting yeah. whack. Yeah, and our girls team, our girls team lost the other day too. Basketball's just getting better, y'all. Like yeah, said, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I, I think. Uh, I also think it's. I remember when, KD and Russ played in the World Cup, and it was like a real coming out party for them. Yeah, like it was really cool to watch them play. Um, I'm trying to remember what this might have to have been. I think it was 2000. It was the year after the Redeem team, I think. It must have been was 2009. Year, was that the year like, oh, never mind. No. no, it was the year after the Redeem team. The Redeem team was 2008. Okay. And then it was like the year after that because Katie and Russ, Russ had, was like a rookie, had just had his rookie year. And, and Katie was like two years in and they kind of just like, Really like exploded onto the scene. Yeah, no, the that World Cup's cool. fun. The World or maybe Cup's it was 2010. Maybe it was 2010. Yeah, no, yeah. the World Cup's a good time. I was thinking of the, the the year with like James Harden and Steph playing with KD Russ. That team was fun too. A lot of cool, a lot of like I see I always see a lot of fun highlights from that year yeah. all the time. Should be good hoops, man. Should be yeah. good hoops. All right, man. Shout out to Austin Reeves. Um, so my dog. Starting starting five now. Or, well, we we'll make sure it? we'll make sure we wait till he gets back to get him on the pod. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Chill. All right. So uh so again we went searching. We felt like we needed to um we needed to come correct with this starting five because honestly, starting five household items kind of banged. The starting five household items kind of bang. There's a, there's a lot of a lot of chatter with that one. So so we went to the group chats, you know, talked to our friends and shout out to David Kamard. You know, he's been name dropped on here plenty of times. Uh, he gave us the starting five people you want to have dinner with. You know, there's always the conversation of the dinner party guests. Um, so that's what we're going with here. I just want to say this is that, dead or alive. that the fact dead that or alive. I was not I was not getting enough love on my household items pick, and I'm upset at the people because. I don't know who wouldn't want a fire pit at their house. It's, it's, I don't know it's, who it's, doesn't want a golf simulator at their house. I think it's less of it's less of <laughs> everyone would want those things, but like yeah, so those are going to sacrifice things. a golf simulator for a toilet. Like, what are we talking about? You know what I mean, right, <laughs> bro? There we lived a long time going to the bathroom outside. <laughs> I have not hey, lived a very long time with people the still being needed, able to have the golf. The doorbell simulator. needed a little more love. I'm with you on that, Jared. Oh, no, look, Tommy, you your your list got washed. I'm not gonna lie, that was one of your worst performances. Um, that's so not voting true. wise. No, so no, not I'm not true. saying not talking about your list. I'm not even commenting on your list. I'm saying your voters did not show out last week. That's yeah, fine. They must have been that's on vacation. Fine. Yeah, right. before the July hit, they were, you know. <laughs> Here um, they go again, man. Here they go again, man. No, it's all right though. Um, I did take the cake. Um, are we all gonna right, super- man? So you can go first. Yeah, let's. No, no. are we gonna serpentine it again? Yeah, we can do it that way. Cause I'm. All right. I'm... I kind of. I. I. I want to go last. I want to go Jared, Tommy, then me. That's wow. You, know, that's you get right. to pick that way. That's all right. I. All I right. gave Tommy the reins last time when he won. All right. So. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm. I'm going off top of my head here, anyway. So. Okay. Uh, I. I felt like I was comfortable with this because this is something I've thought about a fair amount of times. Yeah. Resident old head. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Point guard, um, he's not with us anymore, so that's upsetting. But um, it's someone that – and people are probably going to laugh when they hear this. It's someone that I felt I took a lot of inspiration from, learning and gr- learning about him as I grew up from my, my dad and stuff like that. Someone that not only was at the top of his sport, but really – understood what sacrifice was and so i would love to sit down and talk about that so my point guard is muhammad ali Mm. nice it's a really good take it's really really good pick um keep it short and sweet here my point guard this is the visionary of all visionaries and i would love to have a conversation with this person that's why i've got james naismith 
Mm. Mm. I like it. Right. Good pick. Good pick. Um, when you said visionary, you know, I, I was afraid that we might have gone down a similar path because because that's why I put this guy in my point guard as well. Um, he's a visionary, um, but he's creative. This guy's creative. Uh, I really want to tap in, you know, see where some of his ideas are formulated from. I got Spike Lee at the point guard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. I Spike like Spike Lee. Lee. That's yeah, a great. Pick. Uh, yeah, a big movie guy. Over L- there, little so, undersized, so but well, yeah. he's a point guard. He's a point guard. Yeah. All right. Um, at the two, at the twos, where we're gonna make our money. At the twos, where we're gonna make our money. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, you talk about your dinner party guests, someone you want to pick their brain and stuff. <laughs> I'm using mine as a pitch. I'm using mine as a pitch. Um, uh, want an investor for the walk on pod? Point blank. Period. Give me Mark Cuban at the two. <laughs> Give me Mark Cuban at the two. Uh, I, I love, love to see what he has to say about the podcast. You know, maybe show him a few clips. Uh, show him what we got going. I think I think we could, you know, really get the ball rolling with with my man, Mister Cuban, there. I'm glad that, that you're taking care of that side for us. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Um, did my This wouldn't be a list. This wouldn't be my list without this guy on it. This would be like the greatest moment of my life if I could have dinner with this person. Um, and just to learn about his just his basketball mind and his work ethic and how he's done what he's done forever. Uh, Steph Curry at the two, easily. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. Good pick. Good pick. Good uh, it's my shooting guard. Uh, he makes hits. Yeah. Makes a lot of money. Um, he <laughs> has an interesting. <laughs> he has He's his... doing it. We knew he was gonna do it. We knew he was gonna do it. <laughs> Dude, control yourself, man. <laughs> you got. I know what you guys are thinking, but it's not who you think it is. Okay, then it's the, then it's the other person that I'm thinking. That yeah. Is. Okay, so just chill out. Let but they're me both gonna be on the list because right. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't stop pick either of them because I wanted you to have. No, I was just, his name. both of you just shut up and let me talk. <laughs> my bad, that's my fault. I take yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Fault. Old head respect. Um. Now I lost what I thought. Essentially, what I was getting at is that not only can this person give me insight on life and being successful in life, but also can give me insight on being successful and running my own business. So give me Jay-Z, the shooting guard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good pick. I want to have an actual conversation, Tom, so why would I go that route? Because that is not a conversation. <laughs> Those are your idol, man. I mean, but that's not – I know idol, for brother. a fact that that's not a conversation. That thing is going to go sideways <laughs> in a different way. Good. I'm glad you that's that if he, and that And that's if he is on his meds. If he's off his meds. Okay. We don't need to get into the pharmaceutical industry here. Uh, I'm sure it's your small forward. Uh, you got it. You got it. <laughs> um. So I want to <laughs> pharmaceutical. Shout out to Zach Larson. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh. Um. Uh. So another person who's uh deceased. Um. He he changed the way that we looked at music, and I would love to see his perspective on life and the way he did things. Uh, for people that don't know, uh. Jimi Hendrix was left-handed and could not find a left-handed guitar. And so he learned how to play a right-handed guitar upside down. Nice. That might be like something that people know, but I thought that was dope. And just the amount of sound and power that he put into like one instrument was super impressive. So obviously his brain had to, you know, whether pharmaceuticals or not, his brain had to have a lot to learn from. It's good stuff. Yeah. So Jimi Hendrix, my small forward. Shout out to Doc. I knew the I knew the upside down guitar thing because of him. He, that's yeah. such a random fact that he. That's such a random you. dad fact. That's a Doc my fact. Dad, yeah, that yeah, is a my Doc dad. fact for sure. Uh, you know, I went a different route with my small forward. You know, this is a dinner that that I would um that I think I would thoroughly enjoy. Uh, this is the star of the show, if you will. Give me give me Jennifer Lopez at the three. Okay. <laughs> this guy. Okay. Thirsty pig. <laughs> Are you paying for the meal then too, or uh, you picking up that check? Yeah, we'll figure it out when we get there. Yeah, definitely gonna check, be. Please. Yeah. Um. Good take. Good take. I see good what take. you did there, Luke. That was funny. Um. So my my three uh my three is gonna be the leader. She um. She's she's historically proven to uh believe in something and and, and make a change. And uh, you know, like I said, she's a leader. Um, not much needs to be said except that, you know, the fact that what she was doing 
you want to talk about working in silence? She uh she did it to the highest highest degree. I got Harriet Tubman as my three. Wow, real historical on yeah. this. Okay, Lucas. You want to like talk that. about resident historian? Uh, there we go. But yeah, uh, like I said, just 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 an all around leader. Obviously, what she did uh for the country and, and honestly for the world, you know, goes unsaid. But uh. At my four, this is this is someone I, I have a list, uh, you know, and I stole this list partially from my dad as well, because we've had this conversation multiple times um, of people that if they're in a movie, it's going to be a good movie. Um, this guy's at the top of my list. Uh, I think he 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 does what he does at a high level. Um, and, and I'd love to love to have a conversation with him. Give me Denzel Washington as my four. Mm. I like that pick a lot. Oh, that's a great I really pick. I like yeah. that pick. Um, that's a good one. My four, um, aside from Steph, obviously this is definitely my, like if we were doing a top five that he would be number one or number two easily. Um, cause he's, he just paved the way for so many people that have now in that area, that, the career that he was in and just an absolute legend. Um, give me the late, great Stuart Scott. Mm. I would love to sit yeah. down. I would love to sit down and talk to him because also that's something that like I would not be opposed to doing that that industry that would, and that would be really cool. And obviously that dude's a legend. So, uh, power forward. So another uh, guy with a couple screws loose, but I feel like I could again learn a lot. Um, he pretty much changed the way our lives have played out on a macro level and a micro level. Um but give me Steve Jobs. Mm. Steve Jobs power forward. Um, I, really I think uh yeah, it would be very interesting to be there with him as he was trying to figure out how to change the world. So um okay, center. I'm like I had some real struggles here on where to way I wanted to go. Um but I think I haven't put basketball in there yet so i feel like i have to and this guy um you know once again groundbreaking guy groundbreaking player he's the goat i want to know what he has to say and hear all of his stories and see what's true and what's not true and all the legend and lore give me michael jordan nice at the center nice good 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 yeah. good you know i went a went a different route i went i went in the music industry but I'm not I'm not just in the center for the music industry. I'm in the center for for this guy's personality. He's tall. I think he stands about six foot four. Give me Snoop Dogg at my five. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be an amazing dinner. Yeah, that'd be that'd be that'd be something. Talk about pharmaceuticals. <laughs> <laughs> recreational, recreational. Hey, teach yourself. Um so my center, uh, again, with like Jared, I haven't gone the basketball route, and this is where I went the basketball route. I think, uh, again, like Jared, you know, it's it's a groundbreaking player. Um, this guy catches eyes wherever he goes. But I think the reason why I chose him uh, is because what he's done after his career, he's 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 clearly uh, developed himself into a business mogul, and I think he's taken his name and his image and what he did while he was a basketball player and turned it into something even better for most people, like in most people's eyes. Um, I got Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal at my five. Um, yeah, that's a good pick. Now, is this the shaq this? What, what uh, name are no, you? This, is, this is Shaquille O'Neal, the businessman. This is Shaquille yeah. O'Neal signing checks. Um, this is icy hot. Basketball. This is icy hot. Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. But yeah, like, the he's, general. Got his, he's got his card on everything. Like, and yeah, you know, guys, like, there's a lot of people that just retire and, you know, but I feel like he really used his image as like a likable person on the court and turned it into something. Papa John's. Even more lucrative than his basketball career. Yeah, it is actually. A DJ. Uh, now, so how do we want to do walk on? You want me to? You, yeah, you can on? run it back for walk on. Yeah. Um, So I have one. You guys are a lot. You can throw the flag. I get it if you don't want me to do this one. Um, my walk-on pick is not a real person. Um, it's a fictional character. So I so should I, throw the flag now. It, <laughs> I have Michael Scott as my walk-on. I think it would be an incredible, <laughs> I think it'd be an incredible dinner. Uh, <laughs> are you going with I, date Mike or just regular Mike? No, just, yeah, then, I'm, then I'm going just, John just, Snow. <laughs> look, look uh, if you guys want to throw the flag, I have an alternate. No, that, that I'm a I'm really a big well. office guy, so I'm I'm yeah, letting it rock. I think I think you, I know how you can't I know tell how me you wouldn't want to go to 
have a dinner with with yeah. the Michael Scott. Like that's that's in a that'd high be, level dinner. Night, that'd be a night right there. Yeah. Um, I actually went a more serious route. I know I usually have more. I I'm usually the jokester, as my lineup shows. Um, my walk on pick. Um, this is a guy who started at the literal bottom and has succeeded to be one of the best coaches in the NBA right now and probably one of the best coaches of all time when it's all said and done, I think. Um, and I would just love to learn from him because I also probably would like to get into coaching. And uh, that's Eric Spolstra. Good pick. Good pick. It's a nice walk-on pick. Straight from the video room to JMB. Straight to from the video room. Exactly. I think he yeah. would unmatched knowledge coming from that guy. Very intense person. Yeah, it would be a it'd be a good dinner. Yeah, it would be a very serious dinner. Yeah. Um, I'm going way left field. I felt like this guy isn't gonna get that much love in these kind of conversations because it's been so many years. But I feel like he really knows how to create an empire. So just give me Julius Caesar. Mm. <laughs> it's been so many years. Uh, right. Julius Caesar is my walk on. I was surprised you, didn't, I'm surprised you didn't pick Shakespeare. Nah, I actually I don't Shakespeare care about came that. to my tryouts. I almost had him in there. Yeah. Um, Shakespeare. Was I do want to say as well. so. My my walk on back up in case you guys won't can allow uh, the go with Michael Scott to to play. Um, I was gonna put JJ Redick because in all seriousness, we probably wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now if it wasn't for him. So and true. Obviously, yeah. it's one. Of, he's one of my favorite players. I studied his game for a long time and modeled the way that I carry myself based off of the way he carries himself. Um, so just wanted to, to tip the cap to, to the guy, JJ. Um, obviously he probably won't man. hear this, but hopefully one day, you know, Facts. yeah, man, I like that. I like that topic. It was, it was lighthearted yeah. but serious at the same time, you know, Yeah. got to peer into, to, you know, where Jared gets his uh, inspirations from. So yeah. it's always a yeah. good thing. Good time. Yeah. I, I want to applaud you for, for, for some self control there, Jared. Again, because I'm just, the voters with it. Yeah, maybe. we'll see. I mean, I don't even care about the voters, but like just I, in my mindset, it's like I I know that where that conversation is going. Yeah, we've I seen that. What, we've seen that played out. I heard what Jared was saying in, in my head. Just no, don't do it, Jared. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, no, I knew it. I knew the Jay Z pick. You were gonna do that one too. So I, yeah, I cerebral. Jay Z's much more cerebral in that. Yeah. Um, but. If I want to learn how to make a beat, yeah, I'm gonna go have a little little snack with Kanye. Snack, not a whole meal, just snack. Yeah, just a snack. snack. <laughs> Some coffee. Maybe maybe get a jamba. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good that's a good take. Uh, oh. yeah, uh, Jared. Jared, when are we gonna play some golf, golf, man? When are we gonna play some freaking golf? Oh man. I don't know. I I I really really need to find find that tutelage, find that mentor, and get get some good knowledge. Because some of my good friends told me that if I get fifty chips a night, I think Jack, Arnold, maybe even Tiger, will say that I'm looking pretty right. Okay. Um. <laughs> Oh, Jared. Um, Jared, Jared, Jared. No, we do what we, we the, the match needs to happen here soon. Um, yeah. Anyone who's listening to this, go put some pressure man. on our friend Marquise Chris, please. Uh, yeah. I know, Clock I know. is ticking. Yeah. We'll, we'll, if, we'll all figure, fails, yeah. if all else fails, we should just get out to the course. Yeah, no, we, we can do that. Because we'll, we'll. why not? Um, why not? Tom actually hasn't seen me golf, and I've been playing. A I, I, I haven't golf seen you recently. golf. I haven't seen um, you golf in over a year. I, I I can attest uh it it's uh yeah we have our work cut out for us. It says I not I not gonna lie, we have our work I cut out for us. Competitors at the end of the day. Yeah, like Can't I'm to gonna get the other clips and I'm gonna and battle no matter what. We know that. But, yeah, we I'm know that ask, ask Owen. We know you're today. Gonna, yeah. Ask ask Drake, right? You know, here. Jared's Drake. gonna battle. Did Drake well, drink his gallon of water today? Hey, I'm gonna leave Drake alone right now. Recording? Now we're still, now we're still recording. Yeah. So, yeah, about a wrap. You want to make an appearance? You want to make an appearance? <laughs> oh my god, I don't think we need a Drake cameo. <laughs> Do we need a Drake cameo? Let's see if he's got right the now. Big Lebowski hair going still. Oh my! Oh, <laughs> okay. 
Let's wrap this up. Let's get out of here. With that being said, episode 49. Thanks for tuning in. These are your favorite walk-ons, and we're walking out.